So the next movie review we're going to review on Bruce Almighty, which is my favorite movie. It was released in 2003. It starred Jim Carrey as Bruce Nolan, uh, Jeff Renson as his girlfriend, and Morgan Freeman, who plays God, which you see here right there. So it's basically about, this is not based on the book, it's based on a movie. So Jim Carrey, he's been in a lot of movies actually recently. And the one recent movie is Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Dr. Eggman. Yeah, it starts with him on the news, a uh, animal service, is, uh, or animal service. He wants to, um, the, the match of God. I'll climb my chair actually more. You can see how big this video. Uh, so he goes to a um a, a empty apartment. He meets God, played by Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan Freeman as God. He's hilarious in this one. Yeah. So and the funniest part where um his dog like raised the shower. Race the dog. I'm in the shower. <laughs> he take his dog outside. Outside good. Inside no. Inside outside good. He's like, be e you a beautiful. Yeah, this is one of the movies from two thousand three. It has the um, has English. Espanol and French. It's a PG 13. I promise it's language, sexual content, and some cruel humor. Caption English, subtitles English and French and Spanish. It's actually one hour and 42 minutes. A very longer movie, actually. Yeah. So he gets the power from God. He wants to believe in God. So he has the power to do anything. The funniest part, the funniest scene where um his girlfriend goes to the restroom while the dog his dog was looking at the newspaper. That is probably the funniest part in the whole movie, which is that scene right there. Yeah. And then Morgan Freeman, uh He stood God actually, um Yeah. And there is one step scene where um um wait, Steve see Steve Corral's in this one. I believe yeah. He's not in the, the back either. He's in the movie. He has few scenes in it. Where he has a fight he has a fight with um Bruce versus Evan Bastard. We're gonna see him the prequel. Um, it's quite very funny actually. This movie. Um, and he got hit by a truck. He at uh, the hospital and his girlfriend. Uh, her girlfriend. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this is my favorite movie actually. And his girlfriend's so happy he's he's back where he used to be. Yeah. Um well what happened. Um yeah, basically, yeah. At the end, he is happy to be his normal self again with his girlfriend, Jeff Eston. So, real, overall, the movie is good, actually. Very funny. It's fun. One prequel, which I don't like. Um, Evan Mighty. Evan Almighty. Oh, oh, that one for 2007. It started brought back. More film comes back. But no Jim Carrey or Jeff Eston. Which is weird. But only the first one he they did. Not the second one. 
he has a new has a, has a family. He has a wife and kids and his dog as well. In the prequel, he would he is trying to build a new arc arc to sell grab a bunch of, get these bunch of animals sell sell that set sail to the island. Yeah, yeah. I overall, I overall, I don't mind about the prequel, which is terrible. I thought, <clears throat> I mean, people don't like the prequel because it's very different than this one, Bruce Almighty, which is my favorite movie from 2003. The cast did fantastic. Um, Bruce, uh, Jim Carrey did fine, at, pretty good as Bruce Nolan, Jared Anderson, who plays his girlfriend. And Mark Green, he's so hilarious as God. Overall, that's my review on Bruce Almighty from 2003. Anyway. This, this, yeah. That's my review on Bruce Almighty, which is my favorite movie of 2003. It said, wildly funny. G show, today's show. The back two thumbs up. Eber and Rupert, exclusive out of loud and fun, not showing theater, delete scene, outtakes, over 15 delete scenes, inside the creative mind of Jim Carrey, insight from director Tom Sharak, and more. He So he's directed the first one. Well, the second one is different, directed by a different director, yeah. It's the prequel is supposed to be called um, Bruce Almighty 2. Yeah, that's the official title, but they changed it to Eric Almighty, which is sucks. I'm not going to review the prequel. It's terrible, but I reviewed the first movie, which is my personal favorite. Uh, it's released by Universal Pictures. And... It's released May 23rd, 20, uh, 2003, in the U.S., directed by Tom Shalak, starring Jim Carrey, Morgan Freeman, Jennifer Edison, and Philip Baker Hall, which I didn't mention her. Oh, yeah. Jennifer Edison plays um, Grace Colony, Catherine Bell as Susan Odrinta, Philip Baker Hall, Jack Byer, Lisa Ann Walter as Debbie, Nora Dawn as Ali Norm Lumen. Can't pronounce his name. A budget by a box office for four hundred eighty four point six million, which is a lot of money actually. And for six point eight have ten in IDB, forty eight percent of Rotten Tomatoes, forty six degrees, forty six percent of TV Guy, which is not bad. Not bad. It's supposed to be more higher than 50% Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. I mean, the movie is good, actually. Um, yeah. I love this movie. It's one of my childhood fav uh, child childhood favorite movie from 2003. Yeah. I think the movie is beautiful, actually. You can watch it. If you have family to watch this movie, I recommend you guys watch Bruce Almighty. Skip the prequel. It's terrible. Yeah, that's my movie review on Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. I thought he's perfectly fine, which is a good movie, actually. I mean, this is one of the best movies as of right now. Wait, his first movie was uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, then comes after that. Um, the Mask, The Mask with Jim Carrey. Not Son, The Mask, with Alec Con Alan Con Alan. Common and Jamie Kennedy, which I don't care about that. It's bad. From 2005, yeah. This one, I, I stay with it. Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, which is a good movie. Uh, 
the the structure of the movie is pretty good. The, uh, the, the photographs do perfectly fine. Yeah, that's my movie review on Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. Good movie, actually. Another classic picture film.